Hey, this is Nix, and today we are going to be downloading the Cursed Forge app. So you have several ways to do this. You can do it from this try it up, try it out banner as soon as you get to the website, but you can go to The Sims 4 and on the side, when you're looking at apps or when you're looking at mods rather, you can install it from there too. So you just hit install. Uh, do you, you need to have Curse Forge app before you can install and launch mods. Do you have Curse Forge? Um, if you say no, you need Curse Forge, it will take you to the thing to download it. Um, you got the Windows option. If you have Windows, Mac, and then Linux, 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 that one, that one, but that one only has World of Warcraft. And then you can't get The Sims 4 support until 2023 for Mac. So really, only Windows people can um, get it. So you have to get the one with Overwolf because you don't have either one of those. I mean, we're getting this for Sims 4. You have to get the one with Overwolf. And then you will download it to wherever you want to download it to. Yeah. I already have it on my computer, so that's why it's like, hey, you want to replace that? Yeah. But you download this one, you want to download it to, double click on it. You know how you install stuff. You know how to install stuff, bro. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and put it over here for my for me to download it. I have to go ahead and uninstall it, so it's going to be a fresh install for me. But do you want to allow this app to make changes? You say yes, of course, because you want to add this to your thing. Then it'll say, welcome to Curse Forge, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to create a desktop short? Cut for Curse Forge. I mean, yeah. Read the terms and policy. Uh, you can change where you want it to be stored if you want it on your D drive or not. Um, next. All right, easy to record your play as the outplayed app to capture your best gaming moments. Okay, no, I don't need that. But this is if you want to record your stuff, you can have that installed. I'm not going to do that. Um, wait for it to download. I'll get back to you. So once it has finished downloading, it will say, hey, Curse Forge of Wolf are successfully installed. And it'll have this thing come up to say, hey, thank you for downloading Curse Forge, blah, 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 blah. And then it'll try to launch the game once you hit OK. All right. And there we go. Curse launch, curse launch. All right. Thank you for joining Curse Forge. Together, we wish to make modding easy and more fun you can go through the intro you can skip it but let's just go through next you are in control of your privacy collect curse force collect some data to improve and personalize your experience you can choose to opt out any time support my authors model to get 70 percent of the app's revenue these are things that we already knew use the free version with ads or subscribe to level up your support and remove ads let's shape the next the future of curse force together if you have an idea that could make cross version better we'd love to hear it your feedback is our roadmap and then let the games begin get the kit started to locate your install game mods and add-ons all right, so because The Sims 4 has now been added, of course, they know today that a lot of people are adding the Curse Forge app because of The Sims 4. I have a nice little message for, message for Simmers. All right, so, so, hello, fellow Simmer. The Curse Forge mod manager lets you enjoy your mods and CC in a safe, curated environment, assuring ease of use and quality content. Discover, install, manage, and update all of your mods and CC in one place. All right, what's new to it? Manage your Sims 4 mods within the app because who has time to go outside to actually interact with people? <laughs> wow. Detect locally installed mods and show an icon to let you know if they're locally, if they're local on Cur or from Curse Forge. Oh, so you don't have to download it from Curse Forge too for them to manage it. Really good. Visual display for mods because pictures are worth a thousand words. Yes. The Sims 4 has a new give us feedback button because we love hearing from our users. Unless it's negative, then we pretend we didn't see it. <laughs> you know what? You shouldn't joke about that because a lot of people feel this way. <laughs> a lot of people actually legit feel this way. So y'all shouldn't joke about that jump. Um, class category and subcategory filters when browsing to help you find the perfect mod to change your virtual life with. Okay. Installing content through the website now navigates to the project page for a better indication of the installation progress in the app. While change SS the dragon. Okay, I don't care about that. And then this is just things about the app in general. I don't care about those things. So the Sims 4, my mods, where's my mods? Go ahead, boot that up. Now, I might take a minute because if you have a lot of mods, it might take a little minute. <laughs> I'll come back to you once this is finished. I'm um, trying to find out where all my mods are and like looking up all my stuff. But let's go to settings right quick and change some things. We need to go to privacy, open overwolf settings, 
and you need to opt out of some things. So privacy, if you don't want them to be looking all in your business, turn all this stuff off here. Uh, if you don't mind, if you don't mind them looking at all this stuff that's on you, um, you can make an account with them, which I don't plan to do. Log in. Uh, you can make an account to, to subscribe to them. All right, but let's go back to First Forge. No, The Sims Four. So, if for some reason you have your your game in another place, this is the you can scan. Can, you can scan a core computer for games, or you can manually add the game. And if you want to manually add it, you have to go to wherever your game is stored. Mine is here. Programs, files, the Origin Games, The Sims Four. Then go to Game, and then Bin, and then you hit Select Folder because you got to go with the Bin. And then it'll tell you, hey, that's we already got you. We already got you, boo. You gotta go the way to bin. This is the file path, whatever drive you have, and then this is the path that you need to go up to. All right. Um, the mod management, so manage mods for this instance. If you want them to auto install updates for those mods that you have, then you can turn this on. Um, it'll update automatically any mods that you have when they are updated or when the game is updated and they finally get updated. When you close Curse Forge, make sure you say exit and not just hide because it will still have Curse Forge running in the background. So when I close Curse Forge at the top up here, hit exit Curse Forge and Overwolf. Otherwise, it will have it come on. And then if you don't want this to start automatically running every time you open up your computer, turn this off. Overwolf is currently set to start up, run startup. Would you like to change this? Yes. Open. Uh, yeah. And turn it off for Overwolf as well because I do not want them to run automatically as soon as I open up my computer. Just, it got enough stuff to boot up. You don't need that. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Just make sure you turn both of those off just to make your startup when your computer turns on easier for you and your poor little computer. All right, so Curse Forge and then uh, Mod Installation Path. So when I want to install my mods, because I have mine set up in a different place, you might need to change your, your, your path as well. Mine is here. This is my documents drive. EA, The Sims 4, and Mod. And this is where I would want my stuff to be stored. So you can change how often it looks for updates. Every 15 minutes, every three hours, whatever, for all the mods that it has installed for you. You can change how many download, how many mods it downloads at a time or update at a time. And you can change how much backup space you give to it. Uh, just something else you might want to be aware of. Uh, Overwolf does take up a lot of power. So, you know, you definitely do not want to have that continuously running in the background besides the fact that it is very kind of invasive. So if you don't want to use Overwolf or Curse Forge, totally understandable because you have other options. You do not have to use Curse Forge, especially since it's not working right now, but it could not be, it may not be working for me just because I have mine in a different location. And, you know, as soon as I know, I will let you all know. Um, but that's pretty much all I can tell you for right now. Any updates that I found out about it, I will happily tell you all. But this is how you can install it for now. So they also have a give us feedback button. Um, so if you click on this give us feedback button, it will take you to their trending ideas page. Honestly, you should read some of these because it will tell you how people feel about the website as a whole. And some of the changes they have made, people have kind of been mad about certain things. Just kind of go through some things that people are angry about. But if you have a thing that you want to talk about, you can just hit add a new idea. Right now, my new idea would be like, hey, your beta isn't working. <laughs> would they actually read it? Who knows? Because they already showed us about not reading crap earlier. So who knows if they would actually read it? But you can pick the game that you want to talk about. You can name your title and then you can talk about what it is that you want to talk about here. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I guess you got to put an email in and they force you to put email in. So I guess they can respond to you directly, I guess. But yeah, that's how you tell them what your complaint is or what other, other things you suggest that they do. Yada, 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 which, you know, I feel like it's important to be able to communicate with them in some kind of way. Now, is it effective? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but it seems like somebody does, res does respond to some of these things. Um. You can click on the most recent things just to see what they got going on. But yeah, we'll see. But that is it for now. Um, I'll probably put out another video later once they actually get everything up and running. 
um because i am up at an uncommon time of the morning so you know they have not really actually gotten it functioning because you know most people are still sleeping in their freaking bed so <laughs> once i am done with that um i mean once they've kind of updated it i will let you all know what the mod manager actually looks like but this is good for at least knowing how to install it and what you should at least adjust in the app um i hope this was helpful for you all and i thank you all for taking the time to watch this video i hope you all take care of yourselves until next time, bye.